Please, please give me some death flowers. Anything? Nothing. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another colorful episode of the Not So Paired Challenge Green Generation, the season finale. Whatever happens in this episode, I know it's gonna be the finale of this season. It's time to wrap up the green and introduce the blue. Do you have a green Christmas tree? Ah! so cute. I'm really excited to wrap up this generation and start some new things. I'm ready for it. Also, we're like engaged and we got really close to resurrecting. So I really think in this episode, we're gonna resurrect and we're gonna get married. Also, if you're new here or maybe if you just haven't already, make sure to hit that subscribe button. My dream is to hit 900,000 subscribers and you would be very helpful to help with that dream. We just finished our requirements. So we need to finish the requirement of our work thing. I just feel like that's going to happen at some point. We don't necessarily need to worry about it. Our little baby angel's birthday is next week. So we still have quite a bit of time of Blue Jen for being small girl. We have plenty of time for her to rack up those aspirations. So we just finished up our mixology scale. So the only thing we really need to worry about is her work and resurrecting our girl and also eating apparently and sleeping. Let's go grab a serving of food. Oh, he wants to grab a drink. Maybe don't keep drinking coffee since you need to use the toilet. Oh God. That's enough music, I think. I think they have work very soon. Yeah, 35 minutes. Go eat, quickly. Prep yourself for work, girl. She's gonna be so sleepy at work today. I'm sorry. <gasps> Amber's calling. I've been thinking about trying for a baby lately. I don't think you should. You are an elder and you have a toddler or a child, a child. I feel like Ivy would say that to her own mom, but <laughs> she called Fletcher about it. Fletcher would be like, you decide for yourself, ma'am. I just love your daughter and don't want to make waves in this family. Go to work, Ivy. Fletcher's finishing up his stuff here. Bye, Ives. Please get a promotion today. I would love that. Will I work hard? She already is. Actually, schmooze with the boss since you're already feeling really confident. I'm gonna wait for this to go up and get that check mark and then I'll turn it off. So I don't wanna risk embarrassment. Ooh, the pool table. A pool table seems like a good idea. It has always been Ivy's fantasy to build a company with a pool table. Has it been? I guess, you know, maybe the pool table would have a bar. That makes sense. But her, now our team is spending a little too much time in the rec room and not enough at their desk. Ivy can either sell it off or lay down the law with her employees. I think she should just tell them, hey, let's, uh get back to work, you know? Yes, Ivy is a popular sim and her employees respect her for being direct. The pool table is reserved for the weekly company happy hour and productivity goes up. Yes, and we got a check, which means we were going to go up to level eight of her work. Fletcher's. <laughs> Fletcher is having a bop to like a song that sounds like it belongs on the same mix as Vanessa Carlton. <laughs> I'm glad he's having a good time in the room. I also love that Ivy's kind of started opening up herself and letting other people into her secret private little rooms. I think it's so cute. Do you have work today, buddy? No, he's working two days. Okay, why don't you practice your programming, I guess? Yo, why don't you make a video game? That kind of sounds fun. It is lottery day. Maybe we should all buy a lottery ticket. Doesn't hurt to try, you know? We'll have Ivy do it when she gets home too. River reached logic level three. Go off River. Are you listening to your teacher? Of course she is. She's such a good student. Actually, now that I think about it, I feel like, oh, I can't go into it. River's inventory. I feel like River would maybe gift some pictures to Fletcher so he could add him in his reigns too. I think that'd be very sweet. River's grades are up. Let's go be student. And she's so tense. She's like, I'm feeling confident because I believe in me and I love my good grades and I really trust the universe because my parents took care of me growing up. But oh my God, am I stressed? Poor girl, she's not had any fun. Why don't you come inside, draw a picture and play an instrument for a total of five hours. Okay, so we could play an instrument or we could draw. Let's, let's draw one of our pictures here. Let's draw, oh, she's too tense. She could make a friendship bracelet. What about about practicing. She's too pretends to do that. Okay, well, why don't you play narrate a tale of dolls? Why don't you play with your dolls for a bit? There she goes, she's focused now. All right, now she could draw. So let's do monster this time. Fletcher's having fun working on his programming. And the sweet angel's entertained as well, going up with her creativity skill, which she actually has to max to 10 and she did. <laughs> Woohoo! And Aspen's calling to chat with Ivy. Yeah, Ivy can answer that when she's done. Ooh, and Ivy's resolution is complete because she got a promotion. Promotion.
promoted to independent consultant. Ivy has been promoted. She will make an additional money, money, money. And she got a minimalist unplanned. Okay, cool. After this, what's her next level up? Dot com pioneer. She's exhausted. Why don't you just go and take a nap? Is the plant growing yet? No. Anything we need to do with the plant? No. Just wait, I guess and hope for the best. We have a new picture on the wall. It is a monster. So she's gonna practice and maybe Fletcher will take a break from his stuff to come mentor her. Yeah, he's gonna come mentor her. He loves it. <laughs> he loves the violin. So he's like, ooh, okay. Intense, but we love it. I love violin. And I think he's gonna adopt her as well. Oh my God, he adopted her as care dependent and now he officially has become a parent. This is so sweet. But I don't wanna keep listening to this. So we're gonna hang out with Ivy who's chilling. Maybe she needs to take a little shower after she gets up. And then that's about it. Her programming's complete. Still waiting on uh, this plant here. Anytime you wanna grow, quality's perfect. Yeah, could be great if you worked. Now to check on River again. Plug your ears, everyone. Her violin playing is going up. How high is she? She's almost level three. That's enough. You'll do two more hours and two more drawings another day. Ivy is going to, yeah, she's gonna go up to bed. Why don't you clean that really quick? And then she's gonna probably go up to bed. Which side is hers? Left side. So that they can try to have a baby sometime soon. Fletcher went to bed too. Oh, so cute. These two cuties in here. And now we're going to bed. Good night. Everyone's asleep. And now I can just watch the plant. Please plant, grow, 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 grow. <gasps> lottery was, oh, that's right. <laughs> I always think when it says the lottery was successful, it means that we won, but that's not what it means. It just means that we got a lottery ticket on the right day. I think it takes a few days for it to even say who won. Okay, I'm gonna go check on the plant again. Nothing. Well, I guess we continue to wait. Right. Seems like he and Kiwi are bonding, which is sweet. What does he want to do? Chat with Ivy. Oh, that's sweet. And he wants to have a child, of course. Oh, River has a loose tooth. Another one? I thought you already had a loose tooth. It's almost Fletcher's birthday. Yeah, Fletcher ages up soon. We got school today though, so River's gonna go chat with her dad. She's probably gonna go talk to him about her loose tooth, which is, oh my gosh, no, dad is in the bathtub, girl. She asked him for advice. Okay, he's like, whoa, let's let's not walk in on dad in the bathroom. And she's like, okay. Oh, I got in a fight with someone about at school about which void critter was more powerful. I said that it was the Articorn, but he kept saying the Sunator. I, you know, I think I, he's just gonna agree with her. He's gonna be like, yeah, whatever you say, darling. She's gonna go get some leftovers. Ivy's up. She's gonna go get some leftovers too. Oh, mother-daughter breakfast time. River, go get some food with your mom. Here we go. We're gonna sit together. Wait, why wouldn't you sit here, Ivy? Okay, now they're having a little chit chat. Fletcher's, oh, she's feeling very flirty, prepping for romance. He's like, Ivy's looking good today. Oh, let's sweat, okay. River likes working out. That's kind of interesting. Oh my gosh, she didn't do her homework. I forgot to make her do her homework. Okay, she's gonna go, nope, she was gonna go do it and then she had to go to grade school. Oh no, I didn't make her do her homework. Well, that's okay. Make sure you listen to teacher. Oh, Ivy's also feeling saucy. Let's go maybe give him like a sneaky little makeout kind of vibe here. Oh, look at them. So flirty, so in love. It's gonna only be a few more days and you'll finally be a human again. Maybe we'll have the wedding first and hopefully become human after. Maybe we should have a Friday wedding. Oh, someone's calling Fletcher. Oh, they're calling Fletcher about River. It says in lab, River science experiment exploded and made a big mess along with writing on the stone. We think she did it on purpose. Why would she be doing that on purpose? I feel like she's a perfectionist. She's gonna wanna be doing everything right. I don't think he's a pushover, but I think he's a pushover. I think he just loves her to pieces and he doesn't want to say anything wrong. So he's gonna be like, no harm done. Whereas Ivy, I would think would be like, ah, maybe punish her. I don't know if you really think she did it wrong. Fletcher's having a nice warm beverageino. Actually not a beverageino, just a warm beverage. Loving it with his Care Bears tea that he's had since high school. And then we've got Ivy Berry. Oh, love day starts tomorrow. I mean, getting married on love day? Oh, 
know. I love that idea. I think we should have their wedding on Love Day. I think it should happen. Okay, Sim of Honor. We don't have one of those. Officiant, we don't have one of those. Flower Pal, we don't have one of those. Would they have a big wedding? I feel like they would. So I guess we need to ask people to be officiant. I mean, I guess River could just be Flower Girl and then we could leave it there. I honestly think that might be the move. So maybe we'll just ask River to be the Flower Girl when she gets home. Oh, Jana Costello won the lottery. Lucky Jana. So happy for her. I've never won the lottery as my Sims. Meanwhile, Fletcher's Hillen. He's chilling with the kitty. Offering some friendships, getting to know, giving treats buttering kiwi berry up so that they can be besties so he has work friday until 4 p.m so maybe they'll have the when does river get off of school three he's off at four and ivy doesn't have work tomorrow perfect the wedding will be at like i want to say six o'clock it'll be like an evening wedding that way they have like a couple hours to fix their needs not a lot of time but like a little time this is like so exciting another wedding a little spring wedding moment too i love that we're in the vampire neighborhood and yet it doesn't really feel like we're really in a vampire neighborhood okay ivy needs to provide tough feedback to a co-worker i think she should pair it with praise yeah She's a positive girly. Ivy praises her coworker, but then sandwiches it with the harsh feedback. Their coworker is caught off guard and a bit upset. Ivy learns a good lesson about tactful feedback. Fletcher's reading a book. Check on the plant again. Nothing to report. Dang it. I guess he can work. Oh no. Oh, power's out. That's why he's reading books. I was like, why is he reading? Oh my gosh, is that his sister? No, it's Peyton. Who's Peyton? This is one of Ivy's friends, so he's gonna let her in. Invite her in and do like a funny introduction. And River's gonna introduce herself as well. Do a friendly introduction. Aw, she's having fun chatting with Peyton, who seems tense. She wanted to see her bestie today to cheer her up. Ivy brought home some money. Ivy's done with work today. She has no fun. One more day and she'll get that promotion to level nine. Your friend's over. You could chat with your friend. Where's your friend? Let's like tell her like a funny story or something once you're done cleaning that up. River's chatting with the friend here. Looks like our power's back on finally. So that's good. Maybe you could play video games downstairs with your friend. Nope. Power's not back on. What the heck? Oh, it's because we have so many candles in all the rooms. Ooh, an unknown caller. They have been chosen. They will come soon. I'm gonna hang up on him. Oh my gosh, it was my mom. Why were you being so weird about that, mom? Just tell me what's going on. Fletcher's getting a call from Bailey. Wondering if I wanna go over to her house and hang out. Yeah, let's go. Technically, he could have said no because it's only Ivy that's required to say yes to everything. But you know what? We haven't gotten hung out with my sister in a minute. Let's invite the kid and Ivy. I guess we're leaving Ivy's friend. Oops. Sorry, I didn't mean to. But that way we can ask Bailey to be a part of the wedding party for the wedding tomorrow. We need to figure out where we're having this wedding. I haven't really thought that through yet. Here we are, we're at our house. Ooh, I didn't know she lived in one of these apartments here. That's cool. I like this apartment actually. I think it's a cool one. Let's uh, announce the engagement in case she doesn't know and ask to be the Sim of Honor at the wedding. And Ivy is going to ask her daughter, River, to be the flower pal. Who's this? Hero. Oishi. Oh my gosh. You have a very cute roommate, Bailey. I'm just saying. Fletcher can't wait to tell everyone about his engagement. It's his favorite topic of conversation because he just can't keep it inside anymore. Now onto the wedding planning. And his sister said yes, that she'd be his uh, sim of honor. And so did River. So that's very sweet. Oh, these two siblings are bonding. It's so cute. Everyone's gonna go inside the apartment to come hang out and chat a bit. Watch TV together. This is your chance, River, because you've been wanting to become friends with Bailey. So why don't you give her a little pep talk, kind of give her a little hip bump, you're feeling energized, tell her a goofy story, discuss interests. Look at them getting along. Why don't you go watch the TV, Ivy, since you're kind of needing some fun. They're slowly but surely getting along. You can take a photo of her. She's like, can I take a photo of you, please? Fletcher's having fun. Oh, he's joining his sister with cooking. He's like, I'll help you cook, sis, if you want to make something. But first, we got to get a photo shoot of... Oh, my God. I love that dad is like, um, no, sis, no. <laughs> but yes, she's giving pout and we love to see it. I think the pout is because she's hungry. There it is. That's the style right there. Oh, beautiful. I love it. 
Okay, one more. Oh, that one's cute. The little like, who me? We're still not technically friends with Bailey yet, but we can keep doing things to make her laugh. I don't know if Bailey knew that she'd be mostly hanging out with her niece. Fletcher's making the food. Hopefully Bailey doesn't get mad about it. Sometimes Sims don't like it when you cook in their house. That's his sister. She shouldn't be bothered by it. I think since now we're mostly ready, I'm going to plan the wedding for tomorrow for love day, a love day wedding. The Sim of Honor is obviously Bailey and the flower power is River Flower Pow Pow. Flower pal. I keep trying to say flower power. We're gonna have a nice little walk down the aisle, little exchanging vow moment. We're gonna have a little kiss and everything else is happens to happens. Let's adjust the wedding outfits. This is one of my favorite parts. Getting married as a ghost does present some issues considering we don't really get to choose what the outfit is, but whatever. I feel like she'd get married in green even though we don't really get to see it. I like this one right here. So pretty. I want her to feel like a bride though and not like she's a wedding guest. I mean, this one in green is really pretty. I think I'm gonna go with this one. Hair wise, we're obviously still doing this like green color. I think this one is cute. We could do this one. Oh, that one's nice. I don't know, I kind of love the sleek look or this one, this like sleek front with the body in the back. So maybe we'll do that. And then for her hair, the veil kind of floats on the head, but a veil is a veil, it's pretty. And then for her lip, we're gonna go with kind of a soft nude pinky lip. Perfect, with like a little bit of blush. I really can't see what this looks like. It's so weird. Could we do some like earrings maybe? Oh, these ones are pretty. You can't really see them. These ones are also pretty, but you can't see them. But in my heart, I know they're there. Then she could have some nails, some green nails, kind of green looking wedding nails. Shoes, I have no idea what shoes. I guess I'll just go white. I can't see, I can't see. Wouldn't it be funny if like surprise, I did this all in black and white and then later I find out what it actually looked like. A necklace, do like a little green one. And I feel like our girl is ready for marriage. Marriage material, hello. Meanwhile, he looks great. I don't think we need to really change his outfit. Yes, color is green, cause obviously. But we're gonna change his outfit just really quick. Just really, really quick, just really quick, okay? I want the aesthetics to be immaculate. And although he looks fantastic, this isn't screaming wedding to me. I feel like he's got to work in a bit more of a form vibe here, like something like this. Maybe even a green jacket. Ooh, a green suit. I love it. He's perfect. No notes. <laughs> They're both wearing green. Ah! It's a green wedding. It's gonna be a green wedding. The location. We could do the purple wedding venue, but then like make over it. That could be kind of nice. I did like the purple wedding venue and I do think it's really cute. Let's do the purple wedding venue. I'm gonna go 7 p.m. No, 6 p.m. We don't wanna be out too late because Ivy needs to get her promotion the next day. I'm gonna save this here and quickly, quickly, quickly do a little makeover uh, for the venue and I'll be right back. I tried to remodel the purple chapel and it turns out that the purple chapel was very purple and there was no easy adjustments. So instead I made a really cool alternate venue that is a greenhouse. I didn't make it, I downloaded it. Oh my gosh, I wanna be very clear. Downloaded it from the gallery. I made it in terms of placing it. All right, everyone seems happy. We've made the salsa and Ivy is the one that's eating it apparently, even though Fletcher is also hungry. I don't know why they didn't make multiple types. Look who just took out the trash. Oh, sweet baby River. Thank you, River. Fletcher's gone to bed. It is 1030, so why don't we all go home? River didn't get to befriend Bailey, but now maybe she can call her on the phone and play games with her online and maybe then she'll become a little closer to her aunt. But she also gets time with her tomorrow at the big wedding. Back home, baby. All right, it's 1030, so let's have us go off to bed so we can try to get a normal sleep schedule. River, did you finish your homework? 
She got 75% of it done. Maybe you finish your homework really quick before bed. I know it's really late, but can't hurt, right? Oops, she's gonna bring it upstairs. She wants to do it in her mom's room. Aw, hanging out with her parents that are going to bed. She's like, I'll just do this right here and finish it up. She was like minutes away from completing it anyway, so. Now everyone's in bed the day before the wedding. Any uh, movement on this here uh, plant here? It does need watered. Okay, repeat, it does need watered. Ivy, wake up, wake up. You gotta water your plant. Please, please give me some death flowers. Anything? Nothing. Okay, back to sleep, I guess, for us. She's laughing. I'm glad someone thinks this is funny, Ivy. I do not think it's funny. This was like the grand finale here. Plant's not growing here, and it's just making me a little annoyed. Okay, our girl is up. It's 5.30. Ooh, she, she got up before her fiance did. Why don't you cook some breakfast for everyone? French toast. Let's do a lot of French toast for everyone this morning. It's love day, which also means we should probably get in the romantic spirit. Ivy's getting some of her stuff, maybe River. River, grab a serving of this. Don't get some cake. It kind of makes me sad, this like empty high chair of like where the sibling's gonna be whenever we get around to it. Oh, they had a hug. Good morning. That's sweet. What is happening with Fletcher? Oh my God, he's getting swarmed by bees. I thought he was gonna die. Can't deal with resurrecting anyone else, okay? We need you to calm down. I know the bees are getting you. Part of being in an old house. You got some bug issues. River's already at school, feeling very confident. So far, everyone's had a pretty good morning. Oh gosh, except for this guy. Morning of his wedding getting stung by a swarm of bees. Mm. How long does it take for a death flower to bloom? I've been waiting. Poor Fletcher, he's like, I'm just not feeling my best today, poor guy. Oh, school flower fundraiser in honor of Love Day. River School always allows students to buy flowers to be delivered to each other during class. With some money to spend, River decided to take a bit. Oh, she's gonna buy flowers for everyone, but only because she wants everyone to like her. River decided to surprise the entire class with flowers. While sitting in math class, each flower was hand delivered, taking enough time to get them on a test. Wow, maybe everyone does really like her now. Ivy having some flirty time with her. Her fiance this morning. Them getting into the swing of things this holiday season. Although it is just time for him to go to work. But at least they had like a little moment together for work this morning. Get everything sorted. And you know what? Just for old time's sake, I'm gonna hit up the realm of magic to see if maybe the death flower's there. Okay, let's go to the magic realm. Buying some potions ingredients. Here we go. Book it. Move it or lose it. Oh, the world is so pretty. Look at all the floating rocks. Do do do. Someone else is in front of me. If you buy that death flower instead of me, I will murder you. Ugh, death metal. No death flower. Gosh darn it! Okay, let's go home. How are we supposed to get a death flower? How? I don't understand. I just don't understand why we can't have nice things. We've been working hard at this for a long time. I feel like I should just cheat it. Or, you know what? We have a ton of money. We could try to wish for our life with the wishing well, but I feel like that could go so wrong and we're so close with the death flower thing. Are we close with the death flower thing? Maybe I could just place something, death flower. Ambrosia and death flower. I don't want the ambrosia. I just want the death flower. Perfect quality death flower. Okay, everyone, look away. I may or may not be kind of cheating, but I'm tired of waiting for it to grow. Oh my gosh, it is a death flower. Okay, okay, okay. Put it in the inventory. Oh, we have a death flower. Repeat, we have a death flower. Now we have all the ingredients officially so we can give them to our fiance and he can mix us up a little potion for Ivy. I think it'd be cute if we mix it up and then we bring it with us and then we like take it after the I do so that we like get married and stuff first. I don't know, maybe I'm being silly, but I just feel like it could be cute. River's home. Okay, River's home. Good job, River. She needs some hygiene and some fun. So why don't you go take a bubble bath? Who's home? Oh, it's my brother! Invite him in and play some video games with him. And Fletcher is home and he's feeling very good. And River lost her loose tooth. Everything's happening. Okay, so we're gonna move all of the ingredients that we have into our husband's inventory. Hey, babe, can you cook this for me? He can officially cook. Ambrosia! It's all happening! Did we have to cheat? Don't answer that. Fletcher, this better be the best thing you've ever cooked. You gotta, you gotta go hard. <gasps> there it is. Oh my God. It's 
done. Ambrosia, he looks so pleased with himself. And look at that. Ah! Okay, we're gonna put in her inventory. We're gonna keep it there until after the wedding. This is so exciting. Everything's happening. It's time for the wedding. Ready to start and everyone's mood is perfect. I'm pumped, you're pumped. We're gonna have a wedding. It's gonna go great. We're here at the greenhouse wedding venue and look who's all dressed up even though she's on the ground. I don't know what she's doing. Uh, but look who looks dashing. Our girl River is in her blue. We got Bailey in a full green getup. I don't know. She's giving Jolly Green Giant somehow. Our greenhouse. And then back in the back, we have this like little reception area. Not so little actually. And we have, oh wait, I'm sorry. Did I not add any guests? I didn't add any guests to the wedding. My mom's gonna be so mad. Okay, hold on. I have to end the wedding. Oops, okay, okay, all right, all right, all right. It's fine, it's fine. We're already here. We're just gonna start the wedding now. Okay, right, Bailey is the sim of honor. <laughs> River's the flower palette and I forgot to do guests. Okay, let's, <laughs> everyone just ignore me, okay? All right, we got guests. <laughs> We'll do walk down the aisle fast. Okay, we're doing all this. I can't believe I didn't add any people. All right, the wedding is beginning. New wedding. Everybody's running to be there on time. These three are kind of hanging out. Gotta keep hiring people. Nobody's like doing the, the event here. It's a very expensive wedding for the Sims. We've got people in their seats. My parents aren't here. The wedding is about to start. I wanna give him like a little kiss. River's like gonna go over there with the rest of the guests here that are coming in. Carrie's here, August, dad's here, perfect. My brother's here, my mom's still not here, but luckily Aspen's here. Take your seats, everyone. All right, he's going. Ooh, there's like love day decor on everything, which is really cute. Going through the greenhouse, back to this beautiful decor little spot. And he's walking down his aisle here, crying a little bit. He's like, the day has finally come, I'm gonna be married. Go on, River. There's my mom, looking great with a little crop top vibe here. Look at her spreading the flowers. Oh, it's so cute. Oh, that's so sweet, River. Good job. Go, Ivy, go. The wedding day is happening. She's walking through the greenhouse, the greenish greenhouse towards her family out back. Look at them all. There's not enough seats, but that's okay. Look, <laughs> her brother's just sitting crisscross applesauce. But here we go. She's gonna walk down the aisle. Da, 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 Oh, crying. Okay, now it's time. We're going to exchange vows and kiss. Let's go, Fletcher, get your butt back up there. I know it's messy, but you guys are gonna have to sit there. And look at all the fireflies around them. It's so magical. She's laughing because she's just such a little crack up. Look at these two surrounded by their loved ones in a greenhouse. Everyone's crying. Look at Bailey and mom crying. Oh my gosh. River's playing with a toy, which is very sweet. I love it. Start exchanging your vows anytime. Okay, here he goes. I've never known heartbreak with you. I've only known a stable marriage. I knew since I met you that I wanted to marry you. And she gave this ring. Oh, look how sweet she looks. And he gives that ring. With this ring, Ivy wed Ivy Berry. And she lost her lifestyle, single and loving it. She no longer cares. Look at them being welcomed to their marital bliss as they gaze into each other's eyes. This is so cute. I love it. Oh, look at Ivy fell, River fell asleep. They're all enjoying the after marital bliss, but now it's time to party. Let's go everyone. The party started. The bride and her mom are having a karaoke sesh. Fletcher's calling everyone to the meal. It's time to eat everybody. Let's go. River's coming. Everybody's like, oh yeah, food. We love food. 
Oh, there's a violin. He could dedicate a song to her. That's really cute. I think I want him to say he'll dedicate a song to her. Okay, now Fletcher is going to seduce Ivy with a little violin solo. Oh, okay. Peyton is not very happy. Oh, he's getting lots of tips and becoming kind of an entrepreneur. That's so cute. Ivy was thinking of diapers. And now she's very flattered. She's like, okay. That was so romantic. Everybody go to the bathroom. Then it will be time for Ivy to enjoy her dessert. Bring me to life. Ivy's eating it. Ivy's eating it. Oh my gosh, she's eating it. She's eating it. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. Girl, 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 girl. How does it happen? When does it happen? She's just chatting with her dad like it's a normal day. Okay, she's just finished it. Any moment now. <gasps> resurrect. Oh my God, she's happy. It's happening. Ivy is going to resurrect at the end of her wedding. Here she goes. Oh my God. Ivy. Oh, she looks beautiful. Oh my God. I did that in black and white. Look at her. Our blushing bride. Oh my God. Okay. She's going to go slow dance with her husband. Aw, look at these two having their romantic slow dance at their wedding. Oh, I love it. Look at him. This is so great. I'm so happy. Ivy is officially back to life. River's feeling confident. She's hanging out with her family, with her grandma and grandpa. And I'm just gonna leave this one right here. Thank you guys so much for tuning in and enjoying the finale of The Green Generation. Next episode, we'll begin the new generation of blue and the final generation of this challenge. So make sure you don't miss out. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!